On the line by Chue Patlani, the Director of Transformation and Resource Centre based in Maseru. Mr. Patlani, good morning to you and uh, welcome to AM News. Morning and thank you. Uh, what, what is the current situation currently in Lesotho as we speak? Well, uh, uh, let, let, let's take it from the street, street level first. Uh, it doesn't look like there is any tension in town. Uh, people are back at work. We were worried over the weekend whether we'll be able to get to town, come to work. So as far as that is concerned, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. But uh, at the same time, we have had two developments that, in, in my reading, give us the makings of, of, of a coup. We have a prime minister and two of his, his ruling colleagues in, in South Africa. The prime minister has expressly said he's he left the country fearing for his, his life. So that says he's in exile. Mm -hmm. That may mean then our government is in exile. Uh, on the other hand, we have uh, tension within the military where you have uh, two men claiming to be commander of, of, of the army. One uh, Brigadier Mahawa appointed apparently on Friday by the prime minister but not yet confirmed, and one who is the incumbent refusing to, to vacate office. As we speak, Mahau is apparently also in exile after having been attacked as well. So if it is true that the government has dismissed Tamudi and appointed Mahau, then it means Tamudi claiming to be the commander uh, borders on, on treason as we speak. And he seems to be the guy in control of the army, uh, and Mahau is absent from the country. So it's, it's still very uncertain as to where we are in terms of government. So, so, so we don't know who is in control of government as, as we speak? Mm, well, the, 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 the protocol list would devolve the, the premiership at the moment to the deputy leader of the LCD, uh, Dr. Porco. Uh, we are not quite sure whether he has pronounced himself or himself or been pronounced as the acting prime minister in the absence of the three men most senior in, in, in hierarchy before him. Uh, the prime minister is in exile. Yeah, his deputy has been called to Pretoria for calls as is uh, Chief Masriban, who is the third uh, member of the coalition uh, group. So... Uh, as we speak, we, we are assuming that Dr. Poco is the acting prime minister. We know that uh, Lieutenant General Gamudi uh, insists that he is uh, the head of the army, uh, in, 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 in contrast with what the government has been saying the last uh, two, three days. Do we know what prompted this coup, or the attempted coup, so to speak? Well, it, 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 it's a culmination of, of the tension that has been building, I think, uh, most, and if you, if you take it most recent from, from about February. But probably what prompted this has been uh, rumored to be the, 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 the march that was planned for today, where a group of Congress parties led, led by the LCD had planned to go and deliver a petition to the Prime Minister uh, urging him to, to, to reopen Parliament. If, if, you, if you recall, uh, our Parliament was prorogued in, in, in June. And uh, despite several efforts, we, we have yet to see the Prime Minister move on, on, on his agreement. Uh, we, we signed an agreement in, in Namibia, I think in July, where... Uh, the Prime Minister prom prom promised to give us at least some kind of a roadmap to, towards the, the reopening of Parliament, but that has not been done. And by the time that uh, we went to the SADC summit, uh, the 14th, I think, of, of, of August was supposed to be the deadline to at least know what, what would be happening. Uh, the Prime Minister had not fulfilled his part of that bargain. Uh, on the other hand, his partner, the LCD, had cancelled their new alliance with the opposition Democratic Congress. So 
uh, the argument has been that LCD has fulfilled its part of the bargain and the Prime Minister has not moved. And that was the, the essence of the march. So uh, apparently then there was going to be some kind of uh, violence at the march, whether instigated by the marchers themselves or those opposing them. Uh, this seems to have been at the core of why the army moved, because the justification from the army is that they moved to disarm elements that were going to cause violence at, at the, the march. Mm -hmm. Now, we believe there's a crisis meeting underway in Pretoria to solve this issue. Do you think that SADC is doing enough to resolve the tensions there? Well, I, I think SADC is doing as, as much as can be done. Uh, the, at, at the end of the day, there has to be political will from, from Lesotho's leaders to, to resolve the situation. Uh, and, and SADC can only move either in the absence or, or in, 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 in the situation of deadlock among our leaders. We have yet to, to know where our leaders stand because uh, consistently they keep saying the, the coalition government is still alive, but their actions seem to point otherwise. Mr. Petani, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And that was Mr. Choi Patlani, the Director of Transformation Resource Centre based in Masero. Meanwhile,